first time I got on a motorbike, it was the coolest feeling. When I got my license, I fell in love with it straight away. And I finally landed on my passion for hairdressing, I just setting my life up. Everything was perfect. It was such a normal day. It was summer, it was close to Christmas. You know, I remember writing mum a post-it note, like I always do when I go for a ride, just going for a ride. And she still got that. I started heading towards the roundabout. I looked to my left and there was a ute coming from my left. And I thought, well, you know, they give way to me anyway. So I went ahead and started turning right. And just as I started turning right, I just felt winded and just a huge pressure on my left side. And then everything just went black. Then I got T-boned by a ute, bulldozed into a guardrail. And as a result, I now have a spinal cord injury, living as a wheelchair user. I did what anyone would do and just assumed that someone else is going to follow the rules. I never thought I would have a crash that day. I don't think we ever think anything's going to happen to us. What I wish I said to myself then is just listen to that little moment of hesitation. This changes so many lives and it wouldn't just change mine like it did at the time. It changed the driver that hit me his entire life and, and flipped it upside down. And that's something that he'll live with forever. Everything is so much hard work. I had no idea that your body stops working, your bodily functions don't work. You physically have to do things to make them work in the mornings. I kind of didn't know what to expect and didn't realize it was gonna be a full-time job to just live in a wheelchair. For other riders, I would just say, you know, be on the lookout. Not everyone's gonna do what you assume they're gonna do. Other drivers as well, because there are times where they can't see us. I love what my life has become. It's taken me ages to get here though. I wish it wasn't this hard. I really hope that sharing my story kind of helps people realize this affects a lot of people and this doesn't need to happen. We just need to make good choices when we're on the road.